according to the classical concept of gene gene is the sequence of nucleotides that basically codes for a particular protein or regulates the expression of the uh, sequence of nucleotides that codes for a protein but there are certain instances in which gene overlapping is there mind i am saying gene overlapping because it is very well known that the genetic code is always non overlapping triplet code here we will be talk gene overlapping or the overlapping genes they are basically the dna fragments which can code for more than one types of products that is more than one types of polypeptides using different reading frames or using different initiation codons because it is very well known that a triplet it forms a reading frame that is three consecutive nucleotides they form a reading frame because one genetic code is read for a particular amino acid and proteins they are the sequences of amino acid they are polypeptide sequences so these presence of overlapping genes it is widespread in nature of normal occurrence in lower organisms the prokaryotes various dna and rna viruses the various organelle uh, genome the bacteria and now with the advancement of techniques many nuclear eukaryotic genomes they are also found to have this overlapping tendency of their product this overlapping genes they have got immense evolutionary significance one obvious importance or the significance of this type of genes is that it helps in condensation or keeping the size of the genome small apart from that it is of evolutionary significance too because in the overlapping genes there is gene duplication it is of common occurrence and we know that when multiple copies of a particular gene they are present in a genome or in a segment same type of mutation in all the copies is not a very common phenomena so the original the wild type of genes they also are maintained so in these overlapping genes the rate of evolution is very slow some or the other proportion or some or the other uh, sequence of these overlapping genes of the multiple duplicated sequences they remain the wild type mutations they escape mutations now how is it possible that the same sequence of nucleotides it is responsible for the formation of more than one polypeptide sequence many reasons they may be there first and the basic reason some uh, simply understood reason is the frame shift of these the sequence in which the transfer rna it reads this triplet codes we know that these triplet codes they are non overlapping that is a sequence of three consecutive nucleotides they code for a particular amino acid but what if different uh, triplets they are read by the ribosomes for example for one protein it is possible that these three nucleotide sequences they form the triplet and so the protein formed will have these amino acid sequences for another protein like over here it is uh, demonstrated when this is the reading frame glycine is there for the next three lysine is there and then tga that is the stop codon is there 
however if the triplet is read in this reading frame that is g a a then this will be the amino acid and then all the consecutive you know, triplets of these nucleotides they will code for separate amino acids and somewhere down again another reading frame may initiate so in this manner this is the nucleotide sequence and it is coding for these three different proteins so such type of genes because this is a sequence of nucleotide that code for protein and the same sequence of nucleotides is coding for more than one types of protein uh, polypeptides so such type of genes they are known as overlapping genes now one more thing is possible that instead of these overlapping reading frames or rather because of these overlapping reading frames what may happen is that suppose this is the sequence that is p a a t g so when this is the sequence at that point of time this p a a it will be the stop codon and if for another gene a t g is the sequence so it will continue because a t g it is the start codon for the second polypeptide that will be formed so there is a stretch of nucleotides having this particular sequence at some point as soon as the ribosome which is having this reading frame will come across taa it will stop it is the stop codon the transcription will stop not the ribosome the rna polymerase rather however another rna polymerase when it will come across this atg then it will initiate and it is only this one single nucleotide that is being overlapped similarly where gtg is the stop uh, start codon and tga is the stop codon so in that case this g will be the overlapping point because it is a part of this gtg also and this stop codon tga also so it is because of the difference another reason for this frame shift type of overlapping may be that at the time of translation at certain particular sequences of the nucleotide of the messenger rna which are known as the slippery sequence the ribosome it may slip that means it may fail to add some amino acids so downstream when it will again uh, take over its activity at that point of time maybe the reading frame will change and if this ribosome fails to slip at the slippery sequence the sequence of amino acids downstream will be the same downstream of this slippery sequence for example in the dna x of e coli this dna x is responsible for the expression of uh, replication factor gamma and there is another replication factor tau so at points when ribosome it slips these the it uh, it fails to frame shift that is it continues across this slippery sequence then they terminate at the stop codon and they form the factor gamma however if it comes across the slippery sequence and stops the uh, translation process then it results in the formation of replication factor tau so there are two different gene products there are many other examples of these ribosomal frame shifting particularly in viruses and the transposomes the insertion sequences the simplest type of transposomes
now initiation of this translation at two different locations in the same frame that may also lead to uh, your uh, overlapping of genes that is because although these uh, sequences the sequence of nucleotides they are being read in the same frame that is same triplets but one of the polypeptide it is being truncated before the full length protein uh, the stop codon is there so they are two different proteins an example of this type of protein is the tn5 transposase and the inh protein in the bacteria e coli now this tn5 for the trunk uh, it is the this uh, uh, truncated protein and it inhibits this complete protein that is the inh protein so in this manner these two proteins these two polypeptides they their function is different so they are two different proteins although uh, the difference is basically in the length of these proteins another uh, in the previous example it was an example of presence of a stop codon midway another reason for overlapping is loss of stop codon here is one protein that is protein x it will initiate at this point and should stop at this point this another protein y protein with this is the initiation codon for this protein and this is the termination codon however if because of some reason this stop codon is lost protein x it will continue its amino acid uh, sequence formation and the length of this polypeptide will increase and this new region of protein will be there and once the structure of the protein the basic amino acid sequence of the protein is increased or it is uh, altered rather a new protein will be formed and then in that case of this new protein a part of it will be the overlapping portion with this original y protein so again overlapping of genes will take place now one more reason may be there we know that at the time of transcription of the two anti parallel strands of dna one acts as the non coding uh, sequence and, and the other is the coding uh, strand that is the two strands one is the anti sense strand and other is the sense strand so of if by any chance or under particular circumstances both the strands they act as the sense strands the uh, coding strands then the transcription will take place in the opposite direction on both the strands so two different rnas will be formed these two different rnas they will be complementary to each other so if they'll pair they will result in gene silencing that is another topic but if they forms proteins then they are the example of the overlapping uh, gene and this type of pairs of complementary genes they are known as the natural cis anti sense gene pairs and it has been observed that nearly 10% of arabidopsis genome it contains 
these overlapping gene pairs which are the natural cis antisense gene pairs another example is or rather this type of overlapping of genes it is of common occurrence particularly in the part of dna that transcribes for transfer rna so this transfer rna formation uh, forming uh, gene an example for such overlapping gene is the genes which is specify for these two amino acids in human mitochondrial genome they are present on the two different strands and there is overlapping of these particular nucleotide sequences so whatever may be the reason why this overlapping of gene takes place we can broadly classify these overlapping genes based on either the type of overlap that is whether the uh, there is partial only a part of the two genes they are overlapping or there is a complete uh, overlapping of the gene sequences of the nucleotide sequences or of the direction of transcription whether they are in the same direction that is parallel or they are in the opposite direction and even if they are in the opposite direction whether the point of initiation they are uh, parallel to each other or they move across each other similarly for the completed uh, sorry complete type of uh, overlap they may be the nested anti parallel or they may be the embedded anti parallel nested anti parallel and embedded anti parallel means that these are the uh, exon sequences shown in green and red and this line it shows the intron sequence the part of the rna messenger rna that is uh, spliced off during messenger uh, during the processing of the heterogeneous rna so it is possible that for a particular protein this is the intron sequence and for another protein certain segments of this nucleotide uh, sequence it is the coding sequence it is the sorry the exon sequence so this type of sequence in which the reading frame on the same strand the reading frame is in opposite direction but within the same nucleotide sequence that is the nested anti parallel and embedded anti parallel means this is the nucleotide sequence these green segments they are the exons for one type of protein however for another type of protein these red part they are the exons and this part is the intron so this particular gene or this particular polypeptide sequence is embedded within this heterogeneous rna and at the time of uh, processing two different rnas are obtained messenger rnas now same thing it may be in the anti parallel direction for the two types of proteins or they may be in the parallel direction so these are basically the classification of these various types of overlapping genes which are produced because of these different reasons